So today we received a hot fix for Borderlands 3 and while many thought we may see changes to Zane and Moles because they've currently been buffed with the Iron Bear and the Digiclone, in actual fact we saw nothing. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video if you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out. And subscribe if you do want to see more. So a hotfix has landed today, July 2nd, 2020. And by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already been applied to your game. But we'll go through everything they talk about. Although it ain't massive, there's still a few interesting changes. Okay, so today we will release a hotfix for Borderlands 3, which will be live on all platforms by 12pm PST. This week's hotfixes re-adds the two previously disabled mayhem modifiers and addresses some reported concerns. Everyone has had a great time seeing the community's reactions to Bounty of Blood and all the changes that came with mayhem mode with this last patch. The team has been enjoying and laughing along at all the quirky and different builds that everyone has been playing and sharing with others. We are happy with the amount of diversity in overall gameplay that came out of the changes that were made and hope that it has encouraged you to revisit some other skills builds and gear that you haven't previously and to be honest it has with me you guys know I'm a Zane main now Digiclone is amazing I made that amazing lazy Zane build which if you missed you'll see that linked within the video description I mean it's just absolutely ridiculous it's called lazy Zane because you can literally just sit back put your legs up drop that Digiclone drop that barrier and watch him do all the work for you that again that build if you want to see it will be linked within the video description and you'll see a bit of gameplay of it in the background now and due to it still being early in the lifespan of the changes, we are continuing to watch feedback and what is coming out of the community before reacting to any bills that might appear more overpowered or threatened to limit what players feel like they can play. And as usual, you know to apply the hotfixes, where the main menu to see that sign that says hotfixes applied. Okay, so changes they have done. We enabled the Mayhem Modifiers, Boundary Issues and Drawn Ranger. Prevented the camera from resetting after closing photo mode in a vehicle in the campaign add-on Bounty of Blood. Addressed an issue with Amara the Siren's Glamour sometimes not respecting the enemy's allegiance in the campaign add-on Bounty of Blood. Addressed a concern that the Gunner class mod Megaton Minesweeper was sometimes spamming error in a game log. Addressed various grammatical concerns throughout Borderland 3. This hotfix it also updates descriptions on some skill cards for Moors, the Gunner, to make them accurate to what was happening during gameplay. Updated the Gunner's Molten Rose skill card to include text for its 100% damage boost to the Salamander Thrower, and removed the listed fuel penalty. The plus sign for the damage on Gunner's Hammerdown Protocol has been removed. They updated the Gunner's target softening skill description to list the 50% magazine penalty for Vanquisher. Updated the Gunner's active tracking skill description to list the magazine size. Updated the Gunner's shock hammer skill description to list the reduction to iron fist based damage. And that is it guys, those are the changes that applied with the hotfix July 2nd 2020. But like they said in this, they are still watching very closely at the community's feedback and will obviously drop changes in the future. I just hope they don't change things too much in regards to Zayn's Digiclone and Moles' Iron Bear because the changes now you'll see more people use said builds which I think is amazing and what's needed. We need a mix up, we need to mix things up and that's exactly what these changes have done. I believe I saw Moxie's and Moles build which is just unbelievable but also I've seen a couple of amazing Digiclone builds too. Thicker Fillers one was absolutely amazing actually inspired me to create one myself where I created my Lazy Zane. But yeah, there's just some amazing builds and amazing things you can do now. Plus with the few added points we get from the extra three levels too. All in all, I'm super happy and I do think the changes that I dropped with this last patch, the phase two patch, which would have been July 25th, I believe. I think it's changed the game for the better now. And hopefully we only see improvements in the future too. But yeah guys, that is it for another video. Not a massive one hot fix wise, but still changes I thought you might want to hear. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.